Hello there everyone, it's V and this is the first episode of a new series I'm starting, the aim of which will be to help fill the unemployment gap and help young people and students find a job that they can do either on the parallel with their studies or just after university. And to achieve that, I will essentially become the tester bunny for jobs and the first episode and my first workplace is going to be Circle K Latvia, which is a gas station. I'm very excited and I have no idea how it's gonna go, so wish me luck and let's get to work. the personnel space and I will be given my work uniform and a little card that lets me get into this room. Yeah. It's a shirt that's a circle K on it and let's go put it on. I made my hair into a ponytail and I'm now in uniform and I think it looks pretty good. Considering that it was actually a job full of various kind of responsibilities, most of what I was doing was going through all sorts of trainings and for example here I was being taught about all kinds of safety precautions. They have like a glove for heat and then these very odd rubber boot tips to lift heavy boxes, a reflective vest if you're working outside with fuel and all sorts of other things. So I'm kind of really well protected from everything. Afterwards I was given a grand tour of my gas station and there are so many things that you don't know about happening in the background. The fridges are actually transparent and they're stocked from the back so basically if you're inside you can kind of see everything that the people are doing. And needless to say it is quite good here. Today I will be actually reading a lot of instructions. This book that is absolutely massive that I pretty much need to read all of it. First impressions, I love the people who are working here, especially my station manager. Santa's only 25 and she's already working as a station manager, which is pretty amazing for that age. Yeah. Next up, a tour of the storage room. Yeah. First time behind the cash register. So now I've read all of the instructional manual, but I was just told by the station manager that she has a challenge for me, so we'll see what happens. I have no idea. Yeah. Challenge number one is I have to make a tower out of cups. Out of all the employees, I rank the slowest, which is Great. It's really nice how even now observing everything around the personnel room, you can see how tight the collective is. There's photos of every single employee and then there's all of their birthdays and name days marked down. There's even a wall of memes with the employees on it, so they're all really good friends in life as well. So with all of the lessons and instructions, it's the end of the workday today and I've been here for quite a lot of hours. The first day was awesome, I love meeting all of my new colleagues and I can't wait to join in on some of the action of being an employee here, not just like reading books. And I'm freezing my butt off, so let's get out of the refrigerator and I will see you guys tomorrow. One of the key parts of working at a gas station, I will be learning to use the cash register and probably will have to make a hot dog or two. I have worked with the cash register before, but they're all different and especially in this case, everything around you is beeping because you need to sell tickets and authorize fuel and do all of this stuff at the same time. So it's just quite confusing at first and a bit overwhelming. <laughs> This really isn't easy. <laughs> I'm gonna be standing at the cash desk for an hour now. It was very hectic in the beginning, but now I feel like I've gotten the hang of it. Next kind of random thing you have to do while serving the customers is measuring the temperature and it's done twice a day, once at 3 a.m. and once at 3 p.m. Because I was like messing up everything a lot, they gave me um, a learning uh, mark which is really good. And yeah, here's me making my first hot dog. And I don't even eat hot dogs because I haven't consumed meat in about four years, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I just worked my first hour on the cash register and that was quite interesting and I can say that I messed up 
more than I wanted to. Winter outfit on and we're going into the freezer. As I remember, I think the temperature in the freezer is minus 29. You basically need to like dig around and find everything. And there was the two of us, so it was much faster because there was two people. But if you're alone, I imagine it could take some time and some getting used to. Worked the cash register a bit more, forgot to give people their receipts, forgot to give them discount stamps, forgot a lot of other things. But hey, it's all part of the learning experience. I spent a lot of time helping my colleague to stock the store. We were going through all of the shelves and looking if they're full and they're like busting with food because the way it's supposed to be in Circle K is that all the shelves always look really full. <laughs> yeah, um, this happened. <laughs> the gem of all of this is the people so there was this drunk guy who seemed like he was completely wasted like he was covered in kind of something dirty his face everything he took a bottle from the fridge almost started opening it we were like dude you have to pay for it he was like oh really i have to pay for it wow like, I didn't know that. and then the guy just pulls out like a couple hundred euros and just like throws them on the table pays for the hot dog pays for everything else and gives us like a seven euro tip and we're like we don't accept him he was like i'm from new york so not leaving a tip is inappropriate and both of us were just like take your money please people keep opening one of the refrigerators in front of me and like being like who the hell is talking there yet another the previous day at work here i stayed for two and a half hours over time because i had just time to waste in the evening and i decided to do some more work that was a very intense long work day especially for someone who's just a complete beginner it was seven and a half hours and I learned so much and did so much in that one ship. I did the tower challenge before and I failed at it miserably, so today we have another challenge to start the day off. Yeah. This is fun because the coffee machines at Circle K are actually self-serving and I now know how to upkeep them and clean them and if something goes wrong I know what to do. And shh, don't tell anyone but I'll probably definitely use that in the future. The coffee smelled so good. Apart from the obvious functions of cleaning gas pipes and being pretty much a mechanical person and stocking a shop and working the register, you also sort of have to be a chef. These things are what we're going to be making today. This part of the process was so relaxing because I love working with food and the croissants smell really really good and it made me want to eat like all of them. And because it's a Circle K bestseller, we had to make some more pecan pastries, so I got a chance to do that as well. That was actually really fun. I felt almost like a chef who didn't actually have to do anything. And I also now feel quite confident about my sandwich making skills, so line up, boys. <laughs> I made some sandwiches and they are now currently being sold in the shop and that just felt really cool. Here's a cup and I have to guess how many coffee beans are in there. Santa told me about all of these competitions they have going on between the different gas stations. Who can sell more coffee or who can sell more of the good quality fuel. And you have to be really driven to do good in this job, which is amazing motivation. You have no time to just sit in your phone and do nothing. So today, for example, they told me that I had to sell as many Snickers bars as I could because they have a sale on them. I actually sold five Snickers bars within like a half an hour. It like gets you into game mode. You want to sell as much Snickers as you can. <laughs> And then the employees from selling this product so much actually get a bonus themselves so they have some extra money at the end of the month which is really good. Once a week Circle K have a really big delivery of different goods that they have to have in the shop called BLS. I was given the easiest job and I never thought I'd say this but I was doing inventory of cigarettes. <laughs> Got to learn all the cigarette brands. Woohoo! I'm gonna be stocking the crisps now. <laughs> There's like a shelf plan that says where everything is supposed to be. I'm gonna go by the plan and put the crisps in the right place for them. What I found very cool is that in this specific Circle K, like in a lot of them, all of the colleagues are my age. And all the guys and girls here are also studying right now. One of them is studying logistics, another one is studying electronics. They're all very driven young people who came here because they understand that if you just finish university and have zero work experience, 
you're practically nothing. You need to have something else to offer to the table. And I think a place like this where you learn so many skills is a really good starting point for someone in their career line. And I also spoke to two girls going into like future managerial school here at Circle K, which is awesome. Last night I'm working at Circle K and today is gonna be the most interesting because it's currently 10 p.m. and I'm starting a night shift and I'm gonna be here until 8 a.m. in the morning. Definitely gonna miss this uniform and I've actually really loved working here so far and I'm friends with all of the people here now and I'm really glad about that. So let's start the work day and see what we've gotta do. Back at the coffee machines and the first thing on the agenda is cleaning them. You'd think that a night shift would drag on for ages, but there's actually no time to be tired or bored because you have to hustle all the time. All the maintenance work is done at night. You have to clean the coffee machines, you have to do the pastries, you have to wash everything, and it keeps you busy. My favorite job so far is definitely the cash desk because I love working and communicating with people. Because fridge food expires faster, they delivered it at night so I actually got to sign for the delivery which felt like I'm a real employee. While making hot dogs and working in the cash register, cleaning the ovens, checking expiration dates on a lot of the food and doing a lot of other stuff, I also finished cleaning the coffee machines. You can see your reflection in them perfectly. This is a vital part of the job, also done at night, that unfortunately does create a lot of food waste. We had to check expiration dates for every single product out on the shelves to make sure nothing is old. Out with the old and in with the new. This is a list of everything we have to do tonight. I can now sign off the checking of expiration dates. They just brought over fuel. Here it is in those massive containers. And then I guess your main responsibility for the night shift that I found the most fun was all the baking and cooking of things. You had to prepare a lot of food for the morning when people come over and get their breakfast here and their coffees. And unfortunately for me and my colleague, it was winter outside, so we had to clean the floor all the time because people just kept getting dirt in. It's half past four and I'm starting to get kind of sleepy and tired. But yeah, there's so much work to do. There's genuinely no time to be tired. I can't say I've ever gotten to do this at 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning and my face looks more and more tired every time I open up the camera. We made so many pastries you could feed the entire Riga. There's only like two and a half hours left and I can't wait to go home and sleep. Naturally, gotta get the reading material ready to go with the coffee and croissants. 6.41 a.m. and now I'm gonna be making a breakfast burger. Honestly, with the amount of little things you have to do from that list I showed you before, the time is just flying by and we're getting everything ready to perfection. It's 7.30 in the morning <laughs> and I've been here for nine and a half hours. We're about to go and clean the car wash and then our shift is done. I'm done with Circle K after a half an hour, which is kind of sad because I know that I'm already gonna miss it because this is the kind of work I don't really ever get to do. can't believe it's over and I'm definitely gonna miss everyone here. I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> Good night. I just got home and it is nine o'clock in the morning and that was one of the most rewarding experiences of my entire life and I'm so thankful to Circle K for proposing this project and for being an incredible employer. The amount of skills I learned just in a couple of days of working this job is absolutely insane. I really hope you like this new series I'm doing. If you're just a viewer who has a proposition for what specific place I should try working at, write it down below in the comments. I would love to know and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. Mwah.